Hey there YouTube, Love to Boat 92 here. I wanted to do a price comparison between a lot of the uh, name brand top handle chainsaws that are on eBay versus my uh, Sapoch that I also bought off of eBay. It was the cheapest brand new saw I could find. I also have a comparison between the uh, Husqvarna and Steel models also. So this is the Hitachi 32.2 uh, 30, 32 cc's with a 14 inch bar for $224.99 with free shipping. This is obviously mine, a 25.4 and a 10 inch bar, so a little bit better, you know, bigger bar and more power. So this was 142, that's 224. A Tanaka 32 cc with a 12 inch bar. There's the model of the saw for 215. And this is a real kicker. So here's a 35. So this has over 10 cc's more and a four inch bigger bar than mine for 379.95. And then there's an Fco with the, there's the model a 14 inch bar. 31 or 30.1 cc's for 326. Again, mine was only 142. Uh, here's an Echo CS27 1T 12. 26.9 cc's in a 12 inch bar, so 2 inch bigger bar and uh, almost the same engine power for $360. So that means I could buy. What, over two? Yeah, over two of those saws, 142 plus 142, that's what, 284? So I'm still quite a ways away from that. And then I have a steel, I'll put the top here, steel MS150 TC-E, 23.6 cc's. So that has, that one has less power than mine. And the price tag of $499.99. That's an awful lot of money. And I'm too cheap for that. Uh, here's a Husqvarna. A T435 with a 12-inch bar. 35.2 cc for $319. And, th and free shipping. And I was able to find Timber Pro right on Timber Pro's website. There's the 26 cc very close to mine in a 10 inch bar so there's $118.19 plus shipping I remember the Timber Pro was I think it was like at least $40 more than what I paid for my Sapoch and that just gives you guys a little bit of a price comparison you know all the prices they all start to add up pretty quick but mine is uh, pretty much the cheapest one out of them all for being brand new I also wanted to uh, tell you guys why why I bought that saw so why I picked that one was obviously for price and it being brand new uh, I don't have anything against used equipment however it's very difficult to find a brand new top handle chainsaw or like brand new on Craigslist where they don't want a ridiculous amount of money for it. Uh, I've had top handle chainsaws in the past. I had a McCullough. I think it was two McCulloughs I had. And uh, they were all right. They needed work and whatnot. And it's, it's tough to find a saw, a good saw on Craigslist that hasn't been used hard, abused, and uh, you know there's not a list of things wrong with it. It's it's just tough to find that find that kind of saw like mine on Craigslist and you know this was this was shipped right to the right to my house. It's a nice lightweight saw to use where I don't always need a real big saw. So for light duty limbing, uh, tree trimming, shrubs, brush, it's something that I don't need a huge saw for. Just a big saw is way overkill for it. And that was one reason. The next one was I do the chainsaw milling, which I said in the review video, that 
I can use that saw to uh, edge the boards whenever I'm done. Again, I don't need a real big chainsaw for that. I'm only going through, I don't know, an inch or two thick board, and it's, it's just a big 45cc. My Chinese saw or my Timber Pro, they're all kind of overkill for that. So that was another reason why I bought it, for edging. And the last reason I bought the saw, or at least that I can think of off the top of my head. So there's this tree over right across the creek there. Uh, that one has a big branch coming off the side, and it is leaning in quite a bit. The over here so yeah you can see it there's a branch coming off here one coming off from the top and one coming off from the side and I'd like to be able to uh, get up on a ladder and and use that saw you know I can hold on with one hand and then hold on or cut the limb with the other so that's another reason why I bought it and then there's also this one right up here this maple uh, this one's on its, it's leaning in pretty good, and I just like to just cut it down so I don't have to, we don't have to be bothered with it. So th those two trees, actually there's a third one in here, but mainly this one is why I bought the saw. To have a nice light saw that I can get up on a ladder with safely and use it one-handed. I know they say not to, but that's the way it is. So that's, I think that's about the last reason why I bought the saw. So I hope everyone enjoyed my video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video.